This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on surface seismic waves. This is part of the seismology and earthquake playlist. This video is going to look at the L and the R waves and look at the propagation and characteristics of these waves and how they create the majority of the damage that you associate with earthquakes, both big and small. And this is just a little taste of what some areas go through each year on various earthquakes and the damages based on infrastructure and roads and buildings. So join me now. Guys, we looked at both the P wave and S wave for earthquakes, right? Those are the two waves that come out first, are the fastest, and you can record them on these stations first, right? And they're called body waves. Body waves because they go through the center of the earth, right? The next two waves we're going to discuss are called the L and the R waves. L stands for love, after the guy that found it, Dr. Love, which is an awesome name, right? Dr. Love. And the other one is the Raleigh wave, again named after a guy named Raleigh. So those two waves, the L and the R wave, they are called uh, surface waves because they only go through the surface. And the reason is because they have less energy and they're slower. So they, they go from the earthquake foci straight to the surface and they move across and through the surface. So you can imagine if you're in the earthquake, those surface waves are the ones that will cause the most damage. They have the biggest amplitude, displacement, and they'll cause the ground to move the most because they are concentrated in the surface. Whereas the P and S wave go through the entire planet. These ones go straight through the surface and really close to where the earthquake began, the focus. Okay, so this is the love wave. The love wave pretty much goes up and down like this okay so you had the s wave going side to side this love wave is going up and down okay so you have the, 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 the regular wave motion up and down like you see in ocean waves okay but these ones are very very uh concentrated on the surface so imagine the the ground the road the surface with buildings on doing this up and down it's going to cause a lot of damage okay the next one is the r wave the Raleigh wave this one's a bit more complex. It goes in a circular orbital motion. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to stand on the side. All right, Ray Wilkins, you ready? All right, so I got I to gotta do it from here, actually. Okay, and you hold the rope and you move it in a big circle like this. And you twist it in a big orbital motion. And the cool thing is with this R wave, it's exactly what it looks like when it goes through the surface the ground actually moves up and twists in a big circle. And the even awesome thing is the L and the R wave, they combine together when they go through the surface. So the place where, where the earthquake hits is not only getting the P wave hitting it first, then the S wave, but also the L and the R wave combining to move the ground up and down and in a circle motion at the same time. So. These huge earthquakes can cause a lot of damage because we can't build roads and bridges and houses to withstand that kind of ground motion. All right, guys, hope this uh, helped and you enjoyed the video. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.